It's me, Maya Shevchuk, and welcome to another Idea Sunday. Today we have a zebra head, a bow, and it's actually in three pieces. It broke off, but it's okay. We're going to fix it in a creative way in this episode. So let's start with putting the pieces together. thought of doing some sort of animal like this. Okay, I'm going to glue it together. At the back it's got leftovers of color changing pigment. I don't want to waste it, so that's what I will be putting it together on. So, let's start with the head. Oh, I think we should start with the body because of stability. Okay, now we need to put the head on like that and I we're going to put another piece of the bow onto the zebra that was what I wanted to do for the idea Sunday anyways so trying to make it work a cute little baby zebra or something. The zebra is still drying. I've added the zebra a knife. And I'm thinking what hair should the zebra have? But first, I'll get rid of those purple stripes going to use white acrylic paint to patch it all up. Patch the purple stripes that I'm going to replace with a more pastel purple later. Because it will match the bows better. I want the glittery sparkles and that's why I'm trying to keep the sparkles but just get rid of that pinkish purple stripe pattern that the zebra has because I'm planning something else still a purple but more pastel purple and to get the more pastel color I have to call where the dark color that's painted over time to let it dry and after it dried I cut the paper to give the zebra some legs. That kind of looks like a stuffed animal, but it's really not. And I'm going to do 
some white and purple legs for the little baby zebra. Let's just put some of these on. To give those legs a shape. Maybe not purple. I changed my mind about it. All the legs will be white. But then I'll add pastel purple when it dries. For this creature, okay. Now we're going to. That looks like a drone, right? Now, okay. Let's let it dry. The zebra has dried. We're going to need another layer of white acrylic paint. Some of the paint went into her eyes, but I'll fix that. And I've painted the body white, but I'm keeping this bow purple. Because I like the pastel purple, so I'm keeping it. After that dried, it started to look like a pull-along toy. Maybe I'll go in that direction. But first, I need fill up this gap with something. I'm going to apply glue in that gap. And we're going Patch it up. Patch it up. To fill up the gap that we've made. So let it dry like this, but I think I need another rhinestone to patch that up. The zebra dried, so I'm going to mix up purple and white acrylic paint to get the zebra's pastel purple stripes on the zebra. Ever we're going to need a bit more white acrylic paint to get it even a lighter shade than that.
mix, mix, mix until I get the color right. I think we're going to need a touch more white to get this looking the way I want. Get the paint together. In order for me to start painting, I'll mix up some of the brighter purple as a mid tone, and this could be shadows. The dark purple, the dark pastel purple, and for the light pastel purple, add more, even more white, just to get it not like white, white, but pastel purple white so that's white pastel purple pastel purple and dark pastel purple so that's after getting it all mixed up it's time to paint the white pastel purple will be dry brushed onto the zebra to create a tint of it just dry brush it on Very gently apply it and this area could use some more patches of paint so that's what we're doing zebras are usually black and white so I'll be using the dark pastel purple on the zebra stripes. From the color mix. The color mixtures. To finish the zebra pattern and the mid-tone pastel purple will go in the ears. I'm going to map here 
because I'll be doing the mid-tone purple hair with touches of dark pastel purple will be doing so let's put in the dark pastel purple to make a hair map but the hair will be applied after the drying things to keep in mind I'm going with the mid-tone pastel purple for the wheels, the legs that are wheels because it's a zebra cart. We're going to add a bit of decoration with the dark pastel purple. And we're going to let it dry. Some of the accurate paint dried, but some didn't. And on the dry side, Somewhere I'm going to make it a zebra card. So I did this with wool and I'm going to glue this on. Wow, that was some glue explosion out of the bottle. So now let's just get it into the tail area where the tail is supposed to be and oh I'll have to reapply it now okay so now we have to let it dry after the acrylic paint dried I've decided to add flocking and glitter to it iridescent glitter and yes it looks like a glittery jumper and the white makes the purple even more pastel but it needs to dry However, to get it that pastel, just apply a thin layer of white flocking and it will create the right effect. The push toy dried and that's how it's looking like with Mellow. It looks like a perfect size for her. However, we need to do the hair and the eyes. At this point, bead eyes would be a better option for the zebra their blue eyes now let's do the hair i have white hair extensions and i'm going to use them for zebra hair However, I want the colors to be the exact same, so I'm going to use mauve shadow for the white purple, white 
mauve shadow. White mauve shadow. Let's not cut out the mauve shadow here and put it on the zebra by gluing it on. So, let's take bit by bit. The hair on the scale it will be cut quite short, so that's a thing to be considered. Now let's glue it on. Front hair and back hair. I will make it look like it's a ponytail the back zebra hair but it's kind of looking more horse like than zebra like but I've tried maybe it could be a pull along horse or something going to use cute violet I mean cute lilac to color the darker spots the zebra spots so it's still a zebra so let's get the cute violet lilac in why do I them up anyways I'm doing it off camera I had to use dark purple hair because the mauve shadow and cute lilac were too similar and I wanted to keep it a zebra so that's what I had to do after the hair dried, I had to put more purple streaks in it. And because the purple zebra stripes were so barely visible, I had to draw them with a visible purple marker light violet although that pastel purple was cute but pastel purple and another pastel purple it was too similar and barely visible as stripes so that's why I had to take such an approach but it turned out well I was going to call this finished, but I think her bow needs accessorizing. So I have these blue rhinestones that I'm going to glue onto the bow. Glued on. Time to let it dry. So Chef Jax, that's the finished zebra toy. Please tell me what you think of it. I really like the part where the zebra looks like it's made out of a warm, sparkly jumper, although it's not. And... This toy is not what I would usually do for Idea Sunday, but it was worth it. Try new things. I really like the result. But anyways, 
Bye, Chef Jack. See you in another video. Bye.